So, back for another Believe in Boyt with this Grapplox team. And haven't lost all of them at the moment. I'm very happy. Very happy with that. Managed to actually win some games, which I was not expecting. We're just here to have some fun with Grapplox. Hopefully I get to actually Octolock myself. Well, I have, but haven't got boosts. So I, I do want to actually get a boost with an Octolock at some point. Another Whimsicott, which is annoying. It looks like I can get up Trick Room here. Yeah, I should be able to get up Trick Room. <sighs> Actually, if they lead, lead with the Dracovish, that could be the only thing. So I'm going to go Incineroar Malamar. I'm still going to go Trick Room route. Crap blocked is okay. It's not the greatest. I'm definitely bringing Pre Marina. But gotta bring Rap blocks, so let me know. But really, I should be able to fake out something and get the, the Trick Room. Malamar should be able to take any move that is coming its way except for Ficious Rend. So if they leave with Dracovish Whimsicott, that's annoying because they're gonna taunt. No, they can't taunt me! I'm a Dark type! Ah, oh, I can just safely fake out the non Whimsicott. Yeah, if they leave Whimsicott, I can just fake out. But then they could Dynamax. So. Bit of an awkward one. Yeah, because like, if I'm leading Malamar, I don't need to fake out the Whimsicott. Especially because I'm Roselli Berry as well. So Moonblast won't do too much. I guess fake out would break the Sash on it. But if they lead anything other than Dracovish next to the Whimsicott, surely that's going to be the Dynamax. So I guess. Only Charizard and Cinderace would be the Dynamax ones. And it would also stop uh, Moonblast, Sash, Sash, and Gleam putting me in range if I fake out the Wounds Cop. So I probably will. So I can safely fake out the Dracfish, which is nice. Cinderace shouldn't be able to KO this Malamar. Especially with the Intimidate. So it should be pretty good here. Like that, that, This was one of the best case leads for me, I think. If I can go for Fake Out into Dracovish and Trick Room. I guess if Cinderace has a U-turn, that would be the only bad thing. U-turn would be pretty bad. Just high jump kick, that's fine. And they... Oh, uh, nope. We don't know if they miss yet. Oh, they do miss! <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> that is definitely best case. Wonderful. So now, I am going to parting shot myself. And superpower. Do I KO the... Cinderace, because I don't think I'll KO the. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna KO the Cinderace because I don't care too much about the Fisher's Rend because he'll be moving second. Oh well, that was that was a good good turn one. <laughs> Let's go. We're positive with this team. <laughs> Excellent. Don't think the high jump kick mattered too much, but we take those. Big jump up, very nice. Okay, another five figures guy, quite a high five figures guy. But that's a cool team. I like that. They knew what they were doing immediately, which is always concerning. I can't safely go the Trick Room stuff because of that Rhyperia. Because there's Dragapult, I can't really go Gengar. So I would definitely have like a redirection over Grapplock if I was building this team seriously. Because then Gengar could be led against Dragapults, but it really cannot. So 
Should we try the same thing again? Actually have a match this time? Uh, Graplocked is terrible here. So I'm not going to bring Graplocked. I'm going to have Gengar in the back. But I brought Graplocked to the last game, so it counts. I have brought Graplocked in, in this episode, so it definitely counts. What's going on? <laughs> well, at least we get to find out what will happen after this turn one, hopefully. That is highly amusing. I find that incredibly amusing. So let's do the same thing again. This time we're probably not going to dodge the high jump kick. But this is fine. <laughs> this is amazing. God, high jumping this again would be just the funniest thing ever. Please miss. Please miss. It'd be so funny. Ah, boo. Well, now we get to find out what will happen now. So, I'm still going to parting shot and superpower. But that was... That's incredibly amusing. <laughs> parting shot myself. Now, because he hasn't got the... Um... High jump kick recoil. Superpower probably does not KO the Cinderace. But I guess I'm gonna find out. Oh, we had Sucker Punch. Well, it will definitely KO the Cinderace now. Because this won't KO. I haven't done that for ages. Well, since 2018 with my Persian Ma uh, no, Malamar, Persian Superior. But if I switch in Pre-Marina here, it's going to take a vicious rend and that's going to hurt. So I think I might sacrifice Gengar here so that I can get the sweep going with the Pre-Marina at full HP. Because that's probably the best Dynamax candidate now. I wonder if this will KO. It did, nice. So the high jump kick recoil didn't matter too much, it was just extra damage on the Malamar, which isn't too bad. Now I'm plus two with the Malamar, so it's going to do some good damage. This should KO the Gengar. Uh, not should. This is KOing like three Gengars. But now I get to go into Pre-Marina, even, even if they got Rhyperia, that's fine as well. It's just Dust Flops. It's not so bad. I am in Nightshade range though, which is... Not the most ideal, but... I'm going to Moonblast the Dracovish and switch out into Incineroar, because then I can go for a Perish Song endgame. Unless it's Rhyperia, I'll be able to click Perish Song immediately. If it is Rhyperia, I think I need to Dynamax the Pink Marina and just go for Geyser. But, nice. They're down to two Pokemon. I can go for Perish Song now. So if it's anything but Rhyperia, it should be pretty good. Okay, so I can't Perish Song. I do need to, to Geyser that. And then, is there any point in doing anything with the Incineral? I guess I might as well try and parting shot. Hmm. How many turns of trick rooms left? Two. Yeah, I'm going to guise the right period. Yeah. And just passing a shot. Not too much else the Incineroar can do. Ooh, they are slower. Not ideal. Ok, 
guess I could have switched out Incineroar hard and then be able to... Well, I should be able to survive plus two Quake like, regardless, right? But then I don't think I KO them with Geyser after the Rockfall slash Quake. Earthquake instead of Bulldoze. Interesting. Hope that extra chip <laughs> from the Earthquake isn't enough to KO the Free Marina. That would be awkward. It's Rockfall, that's fine. Yeah, we do take that. Nice. So how much is this guy's going to do? Still do a lot. Next turn. I think I switch Malamar just straight back out into into Incineroar. And I should be max guarding if the Rhyperia survives this turn, because then last turn the Trick Room. How much is this gonna do? It shouldn't KO. Not with the Sandstorm boost. Oh, okay. I just underestimated Prima Raider completely then. Fair enough. Now, really, I should be able to get the Parish Storm. That's if I don't KO the Dust Pops quickly enough anyway. But I definitely switch out into Incineroar because that's not in Nightshade range. It's not in two Nightshade. It's not in three Nightshade ranges because of the Berry. So really, I should be able to Parish on if I want. Because I don't have a Dark move on the Incineroar. And in the rain, the Flevers won't do too much to Dust Pops. Two shots, to be fair. So I might not even need to perish some. Oh, yeah, I don't even need to perish some. Yeah, there's no point of that. Just Scald and Flare Bliss. Oh, Geyser and Flare Bliss. Same thing. Very nice. Very nice. That was highly amusing, getting the same leads. And we actually got to find out what happened afterwards, even though they had slightly different Pokemon. But yeah, not bad. Not bad actually doing okay with this team, which I'm quite surprised about, So I did not have high expectations. But managed to get two wins, so very happy with that. Like, if, if I win one more, then I'm at least not negative for the week, so that'd be good. <laughs>